Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I started doing some investigating and reading some comments that I've been getting about the mod installation video. And now I think I'm starting to realize why people might be having an issue downloading mods, particularly with Melon Loader. So I was under the impression that once you downloaded the initial Bepinex and Melon Loader files in order to download mods, when you click on Melon Loader, all of the files that are supposed to be here were just here. That was my impression. That's how I understood it because whenever I clicked on Melon Loader after I installed the initial files, all of the necessary files were here. But now that I'm going back and I'm looking at what happened in checking out the video and looking at the installation process. And then I also went back to the Nexus and re-downloaded the initial Bepinex Melon Loader uh, file to see. And when you click on here, this is a brand new, this is freshly downloaded from the Nexus. This is this right here. Toby's Bepinex X Melon Loader Pack for Supermarket Simulator. That's this, I just downloaded this. I hit manual, I went down to slow download, it downloaded, I installed it. That's this right here after being extracted. And when I click on Melon Loader, as you can see, the other folders that are supposed to be here are clearly not here. And that confused me because I'm like, wait a minute, how are they not there? They're supposed to be there. They were there when I clicked on it. Here's the difference. After I initially installed Bepinex and I set this up, immediately after the installation i opened the game and that's the difference i i essentially missed the step in my video because i didn't know that the step existed because of the order in which i did things so let's just say this is your game directory right supermarket simulator this is where all your supermarket simulator files are and if you didn't know how to get to this you go to supermarket simulator go to manage go to browse local files that'll bring up your game directory right here so that's where i'm at right now and you're installing this all for the first time so you're copying all of this from the new bepinex melon loader thing that you downloaded the toby thing and you're transferring it over here. It'll ask you to, you know, if you wanna replace any files that already exist there, obviously you wanna say yes. Okay, and now everything's over here. This is installed. Now, when you see Melon Loader here, obviously the folders are still not here, but this is all you have to do. Now, you just have to go to the game and open the game. So I'm going to boot up the game, but watch what happens when I boot up the game. Okay. We're booting up Supermarket Simulator right now. And as you can see, immediately when I booted up the game, all of those programs, I mean, not programs, all of those folders that were previously missing are now there. And that's it. That's all you have to do is open the game and they automatically show up, which is how I missed the fact that they weren't there in the first place. Because after I installed everything and drug everything over, I opened up the game and they were already there for me. So Bepinex is already fine. Everything you need in Bepinex will already be there. But Melon Loader, the mods, plugins, user data, and user libs folder will not populate until you open the game for the first time after you install the initial, the, the initial installation for this stuff. So that's what I missed. I'm uh, sorry for that if that caused anybody confusion. To be perfectly honest, like if you've been having issues, particularly with Melon Loader, this is probably the reason why. And uh, that's my bad. Um, I just didn't know, unfortunately, and that it kind of is what it is. But um, yeah, hopefully this solves a lot of problems for people because they were saying they were getting some mods to work, some mods weren't. And my assumption is the Melon Loader mods were the ones not working even though the Bepinex ones were. But that also confuses me too, because like if you booted up the game at any point to check to see if the mods were working or not, then you should have also seen when you went back to Melon Loader that there were more folders. So I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know if this will fix the problem for a lot of people, but I know it was a problem for a lot of people. So 
hopefully <laughs> that's the solution. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see what's up. So let me know if this fixed the problem for you. Let me know if that uh, if this is still an issue for you, if you're still having problems installing melon loader stuff specifically. And also, sorry for the confusion. I genuinely thought that the melon loader folders were just there by default. So my bad. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I said, if you've been having issues, let me know if this solved it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.